Hey everyone, welcome to 112 Shelf. Today I'm going to review the new Marvel Legends Retro Line Tigra. Um, this has been a pretty big figure to me so I could fill out my West Coast Avengers because uh, she's a pivotal part of them. Um, I did have the old Hasbro uh, return to Marvel Legends Hasbro. I think it came out in like 2007-2008. Uh, Tiger figure. I don't have it anymore. I sold it. Um, really outdated figure compared to this one. Uh, this is just coming out, guys. I have to thank Toy Bro on Twitter. I think it was him that posted that they were in stock in GameStop. I ordered it yesterday and it came today. So GameStop was really fast about that and I appreciate it. So let's look at the packaging here since I already opened her up. Um, of course, standard, you know, Marvel packaging. It says Tigra, the Feline Fury. Right, let's look at the back, see what the back says. Tigra, the feline fury, fast feline reflexes and a prehensile tail make Tigra a dazzling force to be reckoned with, right? So let's look at this figure, the detail, the articulation, the pain apps, all that good stuff, right? Let's start with the head sculpt that she comes with, right? When uh, out of the box, pretty good head sculpt. We know Hasbro has been killing it with these female head sculpts, right? I like the hair as well. That's also something that they've been doing well lately, okay? Let's look at the articulation. It's pretty much standard Marvel Legends articulation, especially for a woman's buck here, a woman's body, but of course you're gonna go all around here. Shoulders extend this much. You have an upper bicep swivel. You have double jointed elbows. Of course, no ab crunch, but you have a ball joint on the upper um, diaphragm here, so she can go that much back, that much forward. <clears throat> um, upper thigh cut, double jointed knees, and of course ankle articulation and uh, some ankle pivot, right? This uh, leg right here is kind of stuck and I'm scared to move it. This one was a little stuck, but I moved it and it worked out pretty well. So this, this joint's pretty stiff, but I'm sure I can manage to, you know, make it a little loose over time. Let's look at the paint apps. The paint apps are awesome. Okay, I see some people complaining about the tone of orange that she is uh, but honestly I don't I think it's fine but maybe that's because I, I'm colorblind and I don't see colors very well but um I think it looks great and I think the paint apps on the side the tiger stripes on the side let's zoom in on that are consistent and they look awesome right so let's look at some of the detail that she has um as you could see I don't know if you guys could see this she has some texture on her shoulder, like fur texture, the elbow and the forearm, and the top of the hands there. Of course, it's consistent here too. You can see it on the knees. I kind of wish they would have, and on the feet too, you can see that. I kind of wish they would have done more of that uh, textured fur look, but you know, it's cool, and it, it, it definitely works for the character, okay? Um, you could see the paint apps, good paint apps on her bikini. The little bone things right here are great too. Let's go to the tail. It's a little ironic, this tail, because, uh, oh look, she got the sculpted fur on the back of her calves too, right? So I wish it was a little more, but hey, it looks great. Um, the tail is kind of disappointing uh, because the back of the box says she has a prehensile tail and you really can't move it. It's really just in one way. Uh, you can rotate it. And you can take it out if you want and put it back in any way you want. But I really wish it was a bendy tail, you know, a prehensile bendy tail, like the old Toy Biz Nightcrawler. That would be awesome. Let's look at the accessories she comes with. Of course, retro carded doesn't come with much, but uh, she does come with fisted hands on both. On both hands, left and right. And I like this alternate head scope. This one is too neutral for me. Let's pop on this uh, angry looking <clears throat> cat head. Pop that on. Look at that. Love this head skull, right? Looks just as good as, uh, or just as angry and just as cool as the She-Hulk one, right? Let's see if I get a closer look on that. There you go. Well, let me adjust the light real quick. There you go. So you can see the teeth, you can see the stripes here. Look at that hair, man. Hasbro's been killing it with the, the female hair thing. Like, 
the toy, toy bits look like little clumps on top of their head. Now, the thing everyone wants to know about this figure, or of course they already know, but it is, it's, I think it's one of Hasbro's first figures that is pinless, right? We saw that with the two-pack Hawkeye, but damn, the double-jointed knees, there's no pins, man. And in the elbows, there's no pins either. So if I was a little more talented on photographing my you know, action figures, man, this would make for good shots. For those of you that are pretty talented at that, you're gonna have a field day just, you know, photographing this figure with no pins. It looks like this is the way Hasbro is going and I'm all for it, man. These pinless figures are amazing. Uh, she is standard Marvel Legends size, but let's look at her next to some other Marvel Legends. So we have, of course, Tigra. We'll put her next to Shadow Cat. And then we'll put over here on this side, Black Cat. The uh, old black cat with heels that's hard to stand. Okay, we'll put on this side, Hellcat. Do you guys see a theme yet or no? We'll put on this side, Black Panther. The Shuri version. If she could stand up. And in the back, we will put Sabretooth. Awesome. All cat lineup. Those are the only ones I could think of if I miss any Marvel Legends that are cat themed. Besides, like, T'Challa, right? Um, let me know. Maybe I haven't. But uh, let's look at our next two other figures, standard uh, Marvel Legends figures. Let's look at this next to this. Um, Okoye Wave Iron Man, my buddy just got got that for me. Shout out to you, man, love you. And uh, this uh, Marvel Legends Ghost Rider. And in the back, another figure I just got. Look at that guy. Love that figure, man. Maybe I'll review that if you guys want me to. Or maybe I'll review, if you guys want me to, um, that little uh, box in the back there. Got my Sentinel last week. He's amazing, right? So this is Tigra. Pick it up. Finish your West Coast Avengers. Look at the marvelous pinless technology and just be amazed, man. This figure needed to be updated a long time ago, and I'm glad they finally did it. Thank you guys for watching. Stay safe out there.